This one's the hardest one to shake up. You'll see that it gets funny patterns in it. Okay, and this one's the easiest one because there's lots of things through it, so it stirs it up really quickly. Okay, so let's look at the center one first. So we we'll need to connect it up. So we'll just connect the alligator clips to the posts. That's actually connected to a little Morse code tapping key, which when I press it, the current flows. And that's just sitting off to the side. And I think we'll zoom in a little bit so I can see what's happening. It'll probably do. And we'll start the current flowing. Now I just press it down for a short period of time, just a few seconds, because we've got around 5 amps flowing and this copper wire is fairly thin and it warms up pretty quickly. So just a few seconds each time I press down the Morse code tapper key. Okay, so we can see something happened there. We're starting to get the iron powder start to form circles around that wire. Press it down again for a little bit. And again. Okay, not much is happening, so we'll stop there. And let's examine what we've actually got. So we can see that the iron powder further out is still pretty evenly dispersed, but as we move in closer we start to see it forms circles around the copper wire that's running through the center there. So what's this actually indicating? I've got a current flowing down through the acrylic plate and the iron powder there is going to align with the magnetic field lines. So what we can surmise from this is we're actually getting magnetic field lines that are circular, actually around the coil that's going through the plate. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Let's look at another one. We'll just disconnect the terminals off there. And I'll put this off to the side so we can have a look at it at the end. 